Hello everybody, this is Solar Tiger with another wind power update video. Today is Sunday the 1st of February and the weather outside is... It's bright, it's cloudy but it's sunny as well. And it's very cold. So... That's the outside. Okay, today I had the Rutland 913 down and I installed the other three blades. So now we've got six blades on the Rutland 913. As you can see, it's going turning around there. Okay, this turbine is much heavier than the Rutland 504. It takes two people to take it down and two people to take it to put it back up again. So I put the other three blades on out there and it was very cold. So it's been spinning away nicely since then. The time now is 20 past 11 and it's as you can see the sun's coming out and we're bringing in 60, 66 watts from the solar panels and we've got 1.8 amps coming in so that's going well. So right since I put the six blades on the turbine, which was about an hour or two ago. I peaked at 19.4 watts from the Rutland 913, and that was a peak current of 1.48 amps. Now at the moment, the, it is not particularly windy. It gusts every now and again, so I'm thinking that when the wind is much stronger and more Consistent, I should be getting very good power from the Rutland 913. As you can see, it spins very freely, even in a gentle breeze. So that's that. I'm having a bit of a charging session today. I am running the 12 volt battery charger with 10 AA batteries in it. I'm charging the power drill and I'm charging the Called as hedge trimmer battery. I charge the electric bike battery that's ready done now. I am charging the metal detector battery. On the AC side, we are drawing 64 watts, which you probably can't see there, but it's 64 watts on the kilowatt meter at approximately 5 amps being drawn from the battery bank. So we have on the battery bank we have 12.66 volts with a charging current of 5.23 amps from the solar panels. So 5.23 amps from the solar panels. The DC load is 0.61 amps. That is excluding the draw of the inverter. The temperature indoors is 15 degrees Celsius and the solar panel voltage is 37.4 volts. So that's okay. So the solar panels alone are producing more than the 5 amps that we are drawing from the battery bank. If I come to the expanded scale voltmeter you can see, one well in the green area. So, one well in the green area. The reading on this meter can be slightly different from the charge control meter, but that's okay. This is just a quick glance meter, whereas the other one is more accurate. So, we have 1.48 watt amps peak from the wind generator. It peaked at 19.4 watts and everything is going well. So, as you can see, the Retina 914 spinning there and it spins. Now with the extra three blades, it, it picks up speed much quicker than it did before, but that is to be expected. It's funny now, the camera shows it almost steady and it is going round like the clappers. 
if I just come to the meter, you can see. I stand up here. Light on. 11, 14, 15 watts there coming in. See, so you can see it's producing good power. The Rutland 913. I think this has a lot of potential, this wind turbine. If I get a good strong wind, I think now it will produce plenty of power. Uh, the light comes on again. So that's good news. The main thing now is it accelerates much faster with the extra three blades. And so if we just come back out again. So that is the Rutland 913. It's on a 10 foot pole and it seems to work fine. So this just goes to prove that you don't need a big tall mast to put your wind generator on and it works okay. It helps if you have a generator that is a suitable size for your battery bank which my previous one was not so we'll see so anyway I, the, the reason it's only on a 10 foot pole is for two reasons one to make it not too conspicuous two we have overhead power cables so safety thing and Actually, the generator is not too big so it's not too obvious I didn't want to upset the neighbours so I'm very happy with it now and I look forward to generating plenty of power with it the only thing I might be thinking of now is that the cable, the wire this is this is the cable that connects the wind turbine to the charge controller. Now, this cable is not particularly thick, and well, that's that. I might change it at a later date. So, thank you for watching.